Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to just show you somebody who has Osgood Slaughter's disease. I want to talk about what it is, how we kind of manage it. They're very difficult to treat um, because couch potatoes don't get Osgood Slaughter's disease, okay? It's people who are very, very active, who utilize their quads a lot. Um, what is Osgood Slaughter's? At this part of the bone, at your tibia, this is where your growth plate is, okay? And when you are young, that growth plate has new growing cells in it, and in that area, those cells are kind of softened, okay? And so if your quad is contracting, and Gage here, he's 21 now, has been playing hockey since he was five years old, really doing a lot of squatting, running, jumping, cutting, and pushing off with that quad, where it pulls and pulls and pulls at these new growing cells here. No different than, you know, pulling on the skin like this. It just pulls on that periosteum of the bone and develops this outgrowth. Over time, that hardens and becomes a bump, okay? Early on, when you're a teenager, this can become very painful. Every time that quad contracts and that tendon pulls at that area, it can be very irritating. Usually you outgrow it once this growth plate closes and heals up, but the bone spur will always be there. Unfortunately, it's, it's very difficult to deal with. As you get older, you don't have pain with your activities. You can run, jump, cut, do whatever you want. One thing you can't do is put direct pressure on that spur. That's gonna be very painful. So kneeling on hard surfaces, installing floors, getting it bumped while you're playing sports can be very painful. So what do we do to help prevent that pain from happening? Some sort of a knee pad, um, like a, you know, a volleyball knee pad or anything that can help protect that spur right there while playing sports or while doing activities where you're on your knee a lot can be helpful and decrease that, that pain and that inflammation in that area. People who have, I've seen people at 75, 80 years old who have this and they're very functional all of their lives. Um, you just have to get through that painful inflammatory stage early on in your early teenage years uh, and then you outgrow that and uh, it, it becomes solid and very functional for you. So a um, little demonstration of what Osgood Slaughters is. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.